Men have been stuck in this tunnel for over a week now. The initial strategy to get them out has failed, so rescue workers have turned to a new plan to try and save them. We're going to get those men out. What I've seen, seriously, what I've seen, there are great, great works being done. This, this is going to happen. And look, we're on it. And that's what, why we're here. And there's a whole team of us here. And we're going to find the solution and we're going to get them out. Engineers had been trying to access the men horizontally using a steel pipe pushed through the debris. But a loud cracking sound while they were drilling on Friday put a swift end to that operation. Now, officials say they plan to dig vertically from above. The men have been trapped since the 12th of November, when a landslide caused a portion of the tunnel they were building to collapse. Contact with the men was quickly established, and a pipe was set up to deliver dried food, water, oxygen and medicine. On Monday, rescuers pushed through a new pipeline to deliver cooked food for the very first time. But a few have been complaining of dysentery and families are growing impatient. Some have been spending nights near the tunnel waiting for updates. Neither the government nor the construction company are doing anything. They're just trying to reassure us that they'll be rescued. Family members are inconsolably crying and we're also in bad shape here. The Silkiara Tunnel is located in the mountainous north of the country. It's part of the federal government's ambitious highway project to improve links between famous pilgrimage spots.